On November 1st of 2018, Skyloom added a brand new filter to Luminar, and that is called the AI Sky Enhancer. And we're going to take a look at that new filter now. You can find the filter by clicking on the Add Filters, and you'll find it under the Essential category. It's the second one down, right below the Accent AI filter. You'll also find it in some of their workspaces too, and in particular the Quick and Awesome workspace. And you can see here I have the Quick and Awesome workspace loaded here, which has the Accent AI filter, and now also includes the AI Sky Enhancer filter. This filter only has one slider, just like the AI filter, and it's an amount slider. It defaults at zero, drag it to the right, and it increases the effect. Now this filter is using artificial intelligence to find where the sky is in your photo, do masks and layering in the background where you don't even see this happening, and it is applying enhancements just to the sky only. We can see that it's not affecting any of the trees. It's darkening the sky, it's enriching it, making it bluer, adding a little bit more detail and texture to the clouds as well. And the masking is pretty impressive too. If we zoom in here on the trees, and I'm just gonna drag this to the left and to the right, you can see that making a really nice mask around all of the trees and branches. You can see the detail being added and enhanced inside the clouds as well. Lowering some of the highlights, the overblown areas in the clouds. And as we drag the slider to the left and to the right, we can see that it's not affecting any other areas of my photo. It's just being applied to the sky. Let's take a look at another photo. And this one is also part of the course photos. And here we are just with the sky enhancer slider, dragging that to the right, really enriches the sky. Now, I'm not gonna wanna go all the way overboard here and go all the way to an amount of 100. I'm gonna wanna use this with a little bit of caution, so I don't want to have that sky looking too crazy. And that goes for any filter that you have. Very rarely do you want to go to an amount of 100. I do want to note, though, that you can duplicate this filter, and for instance, if this sky wasn't dark enough, if it wasn't enhanced enough, you can just click on this little drop-down arrow here and click on Duplicate, and it'll make a second copy of that filter that you can then adjust the amount on. If you needed to, you can even add a third version. You can keep on adding more duplicate copies of the AI filter. And again, let's take a look here and zoom in, and you can see what a great job it did going around the trees. Now, I did mention that it finds just the sky and does not affect anything else. It can get confused on a couple occasions, and here's another one of our course photos. We can see here, if I click on the sky enhancer, there is no sky, but it is thinking that that background, that out of focus background, which happens to be grass and a mountain in the background, it is thinking that that's sky. And actually for this particular photo, it's not doing that bad of a job, it's actually improving the look of this photo. Let's take a look at some other issues that you might encounter when using this filter. Here's another image here, this is in the course photos as well. We have a sky in back here, however, the filter is grayed out. Now you will find this in photos that do not have a sky or that Luminar cannot find the sky or that it thinks that the sky is just fine and there's no adjustments to be made. Personally, I think there are some adjustments to be made into the sky, so Luminar is just not able to find the sky in this particular image. Take a look at another one here. Now this is not, the rest of these photos are not part of the course photos. This is from a shoot that I just got back from in Missouri, but I wanna use these photos just to show you some issues that you may encounter with using this sky filter. One is banding. And if we bring this to the right, if you take a look up in this upper right hand corner, let me zoom in in that area there, you can start to see a little bit of a banding taken place in here. Now it's a little bit more obvious if I increase the Accent AI filter and then start dragging this slider to the right. We can see some banding going on. Now actually the AI filter is also introducing a little bit of banding as well. So on images that you have no texture at all, just a clear blue sky, pay attention to those particular spots in your photo and make sure you're not getting any banding going on. Let's take a look at another image here. Let's, uh, let's give this a little bit of a Accent AI filter. Actually, we'll leave that off for right now. Let's just increase and decrease the sky enhancer. And it looks like there's just like a little bit of a halo going on around the edges of the trees going into the sky. 
You can see that a little bit more clearly when we do add the Accent AI filter. So on a photo like this, I'm gonna to wanna to back off on that Sky Enhancer filter so you don't see that haloing. Let's take a look at another image here. This one actually works really good and check out what we can do just from one image, this is a raw file. And I'm gonna make adjustments just to two filters here. And we're gonna give this, uh, actually let's give this AI filter a full boost. We'll go all the way up to 100. And let's bring this up to 100. Okay, definitely too much on the 100 for the Sky Enhancer, but if we back off on that amount to about 45, take a look at a before and after, and two sliders does a really good job. Let's also take a look at this sunset photo. Now I've gone ahead and made just a couple adjustments to this photo here to brighten it up a little bit, and I'm gonna give this Accent AI filter a little bit of a boost, and we'll do the Sky Enhancer too. And we can see that it's, it's enriching the blues in this sunset, making the photo a lot better. Now what's also impressive is let's zoom in on the sun and let's just drag this slider off and on and look at what it's doing. It's, it's reducing the highlights. It's knocking down my highlights and bringing back some detail that's in this original raw file. So it is affecting other areas in the photo that aren't blue that it does know is part of the sky. What this won't do though is affect reflections. We can see here that it is having no effect on reflections. So if you have a photo that has a mirrored reflection, for instance, you might wanna do some further adjustments to that water reflection to make sure that it's matching your sky. Now the Sky Enhancer filter works on photos that are photographed during daylight, sunrise, sunset, and obviously throughout the day. It's not designed to work on any night sky photographs. And as I showed earlier, if you have no sky in your photo, you won't even have the option to use the filter. So that is the AI Sky Enhancer filter, brand new from Luminar as of this recording. It can make some really quick work out of the skies in your photo, enhancing your images really fast. Do pay attention to some of the issues though that I pointed out in this video. I think that's gonna be a small percentage of the images that you're working on, but just know that there are some issues there and be aware of them and look out for them in your photos.